So this component right here is your isolation solenoid. This is the solenoid that connects your chassis battery to your house battery. And so with the standard AGM or lead acid batteries that come in these coaches, what ends up happening is that when you start the engine, this solenoid is going to close the contactor in between, thereby allowing chassis battery power to go and uh, charge the house batteries. And I'm guessing chassis battery is the car battery, right? That's the starting battery, okay. yes. Okay. So the problem with the lithium technology or the lithium chemistry batteries is that the lithium chemistry is going to suck up as much power as you can give it. So where it has the potential to charge, to suck up as much power as you can give it, could, and that could potentially cause your alternator to overheat if your engine's running, because it's just gonna keep your, your alternator at 100% charging rate for as long as those batteries take to get up, for the house batteries to get up to 100%. And so what we wanna do is in place of this standard isolation relay, you want to put in either a DC to DC charge controller or a lithium battery input manager. The DC to DC charge controller is going to give you a controlled rate of charge from your alternator and your starting battery to the house batteries uh, up to 360 watts per DC to DC charge controller. The lithium battery input manager is going to allow the alternator to send as much current as it can to the batteries to the house batteries for 15 minutes and then the the battery input manager is going to then disconnect the alternator charging system from the house batteries and it's going to give it 20 minutes to of rest to, to cool off and then it'll then reevaluate the power uh, in both the house batteries and the starting batteries now when the house batteries get up to 13.8 volts what's gonna end up happening is that the battery input manager is going to stop allowing the alternator to continue to charge the batteries. And so the, the battery input manager is not going to allow your batteries to get to 100%. It's gonna get them yeah, 80, 90%, but it's not gonna get them to 100%. Um, so depending on what your use is for whether, whether you want a a full charge from your engine or it's just a way to assist in charging your house batteries uh, it may make sense to go with either a DC to DC charge controller or the lithium battery input manager the the DC to DC charge controller is going to charge your batteries with the same parameter as a standard lithium technology battery charger so it's going to cause, it's going to allow your, your batteries to be charged to that 14.4 to 14.6 volts. And if it has to step up voltage from the starting system, it has the capability to do that. So if the starting battery is only putting out 13.8 volts, the DC to DC charge controller has a capability to increase that voltage to allow the the 14.4 to 14.6 that is needed for the lithium. Now it does that internally the the max power flow that you can have through the DC to DC charge controller is 360 watts for per charge controller. So people have options at that point on what's going to work best for their case scenario. Um, if a coach is going to have solar panels and other methods to, to charge the battery, then the, the lithium battery input manager is going to allow, in most cases, for a faster charging rate uh, to, to be going into the, the, the batteries um, at that point. The, uh, because it's, it's not limited to the 360 watts. So it, it really, when it comes down to it, the owner needs to make a decision on what's gonna work best for them. We can certainly make recommendations here, panels up, but uh, it, it really depends on what their needs are.